Oh, we're hooked up. Oh, dude, it's a big walleye. Oh, I just caught a pig. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Real in the UP. I am Steve Herkman, your favorite YouTuber. What did you just say? You mean YouTuber? What the heck is a YouTuber? Oh, well, Karen, I'm glad you asked. A YouTuber is a combination of the two words Youper and YouTube. A Youper is somebody that is born and raised in Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula, who also does videos for YouTube. Therefore, combine the two, you get a YouTuber. Thanks, Auntie Tina. Now back to your regular scheduled program. And uh, today's the last day of walleye season here on uh, Little Baby Knock. It's March 14th, or 15th, excuse me. Um, so we're kind of making a last ditch effort here to uh, get some numbers and possibly get uh, a bigger fish or two. Um, and I'm in a spot that uh, really honestly never fished before, but uh, through the help of uh, a couple of good buddies of mine, um, I've gotten a tip to maybe come check this out. So uh, I'm going to get set up. It's super foggy. Unfortunately, the local bait store didn't have any tip up um, sucker minnows. So no tip ups today. We're going to set a deadline and uh, be jigging out of one hole. I was really looking forward to the tip ups because it's nice out. Um, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll finish getting set up here. Um, get a dead stick down, get a jig down, and we'll see what we can do. Stay tuned. Oh, we're hooked up. What do we got? Whatever is this good fish. Oh, dude, it's a big walleye. Oh, it's a big one. Come on. Oh. Oh, it's a pig. Oh my God, it's huge. Oh, come on, get up here, big girl. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. Oh my God. Oh, I just caught a pig. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Dude, are you guys ready for this? Look at this giant. Oh my God. Look at how big this thing is. Oh, I wish I had more light. Look at the size of this fish. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Look at this. This is a giant. Check this out. Look at the belly on this thing. Hold on. Look at how fat this fish is. Look at 25 inches. Oh, look at the size of that fish. Oh, camera's all crooked. I can't see what the hell's going on here. But look at that giant. Oh, are we going to be able to see it? Look at this pig, 25 inches. Look at that. Nose on the board. 25. Look at the size of this pig. Nose on the bump board. 25 inches. 
Well, there's my slot fish. What a dandy. Here we guys. Oh. One more look. That big pig. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. I don't know why I saved that foot down yet. Oh my God. Okay, enough screwing around. I gotta go back down and start fishing again. Okay, I think I'm, I'm a little settled down now. Oh my God, I had another mark come through actually while I was, had that fish topside, but um, 25 inches, like I said, I think that that's the one in the slot minute limit. I gotta look and see. I think it's only one over 23. I'm gonna verify that, but that's the biggest walleye I have ever caught jigging at 25 inches. And uh, oh man, am I pumped. It ate it right off the bottom too. I couldn't get it to do anything. Um, chased up my jigging wrap a couple of times. I threw the spoon down. Uh, couldn't get him to bite on that either. And I uh, I put the wrap down on the bottom. I started pounding on the sand. And when I went to lift it up, I couldn't lift it up. <laughs> oh, man, that was exciting. Oh, what a start to the day. Let's keep them coming. Oh, we got another mark. Ugh. Missed him. I didn't sting him at all, so hopefully. Oh, that's another nice one. Oh, no. Oh, I could see him in the hole. I could see him down the hole. I'm in about 14 feet of water, and it water to air clarity is pretty clear. Oh, that was a good fish too. But I think I nicked him enough that time to uh, throw him off. Shoot. Oh, that was a nice fish too. I'd be very surprised if he came back. So I did nick him a little bit. Shoot. Dude, there's a big fish down there. Oh my god. Oh my god, that one's a f Oh, that one's huge. I'm not joking, there's a 30 plus inch fish down there. Oh my god. That fish is giant. I looked down the hole, there's two fish down there. One of them is a nice one, one of them is huge. I'm not even joking. Oh my God. Oh, that fish is huge. But again, two of them come through at the same time and no takers. Oh my God, that fish was huge. Oh, we're hooked up again. Oh, this is another good one, I think. This would be another good one. Oh yeah, we got another good one. I don't think it's quite as big as the first one, but that'll be good because we can't take another one like that home anyway. It's a nice one though. Oh, get up here, get up here, here it comes.
He's got my other line. That's a good one. This one might be even too big to keep. Come on. Ooh. Got the one hook out. Now we gotta figure out. Oh, he's wrapped in these other lines. Look at that. We got another good one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Mouth closed, we're under 23, so that should be another keeper. I'm gonna verify that real quick. Then I gotta get my lines untangled. It's another nice one, boy. Look at, give me another look. Some little baity knock gold there. One over 23. That one's under 23, we're at like 22 and a half. Here we go, another good one. Put them out the lunch hole. Got that, nice to measure that on the old uh, UPKA bump board. If you don't know what that is guys, check them out on Facebook. It's the Upper Peninsula Kayak Anglers, a group that I I kayak fish with in the summertime. I think we got her now. There we go. I'm gonna show you what I caught that one on. This beaver's lures jigging spoon did the job. That was awesome. Been marking a few, but no takers. So I figured I'd try to change colors up a little bit. This is like a little bit of a, like a purple and silver, like a burgundy maybe, deep red. But that didn't, uh, well I marked that one and I actually took a peek down the hole, which I probably shouldn't have because the last time I did that I missed one. <laughs> but that one, there was no, uh, no hesitation on that one. So again, a beaver's jigging spoon does the job, man. I'm telling you guys, check her out. Facebook or website, Beaver's Lures. That's right here in uh, Escanaba, Michigan. Nice. All right, guys. Had to get out of the shack for a little midday stretch. It's about 11 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, got slowed down since I caught that last one uh, about half hour, 40 minutes ago. I don't know if you guys can tell around me, but she's uh, it's pretty freaking foggy out here today. Nobody really close to me. There's a couple of shacks maybe within 100 yards, but can just start seeing and picking out more shacks here. Uh, started to clear up a little bit, but I think, uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to stick it out. Uh, through the midday to see if I can't get lucky and catch a, a couple of midday bites and then uh, be out here hopefully for the start of the uh, the afternoon bite. I'm not going to leave in the dark because I'm kind of looking out here and I can see a whole minefield full of uh, 
tip-ups it looks like so I don't want to run into anybody or anybody's tip-ups when I'm on my way out of here but uh, yeah it looks like the sun is trying to peek through a little bit there maybe burn some of this fog off but it's nice out like I said I wish I kind of wish I would have had some sucker minnows to put out tip-ups today but that didn't happen so stay tuned guys uh, we're gonna get back in the shack get ready for the afternoon bite and uh, hopefully get our limit There is a monster down here. He's laying in the sand watching me jig. Boy, I had that beaver's uh, jigging middle laying right on the bottom. I was just kind of flopping it around there. And that walleye come flying up and stopped and just laid there and watched it. Hopefully it didn't go far. That was a nice one. Definitely be one that we, uh, we wouldn't be able to take home, I could tell you that much, but it'd be fun to catch them. Our mark's back. Oh, I lost him. Shoot. I gotta quit, quit watching on the hole. As cool as it is, it's throwing me off. I watched that fish take it. He must have not had it all the way. It was a nicer one too. It was a little bit smaller, so for sure probably would have been another keeper. Hopefully I didn't sting him too bad, he'll come back. Man, we're still marking. Just watched two fish come through and <laughs> nothing to do with the damn jigger wrap. Oh boy. Well, one thing's for sure. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put this in my, uh, my bookmarks for uh, a spot next year um, kind of cool to be able to see the fish I do have an underwater camera which I wish I would have brought with me today but um, you can see the fish down there I've marked more fish than I've marked any day this year um, there are some true giants uh, swimming through here and uh, that one that just went through was a nice would have been a nice eater I think so um, I'm gonna save this in my waypoints and make sure to uh, get back out to this spot next year all right, guys. Uh, barring anything fun happening here, while well, I'm uh, I'm gonna pack up. That's gonna do it for the 2021-22 walleye season for uh, real in the UP here on uh, Lake Michigan, Little Bay Knock. Um, the season in general has been a little disappointing. Uh, not a lot of fish caught by myself. Um, I guess I can't be too angry with myself. I've only been back into the ice fishing game for about six years and. And to be honest with you, the last two years previous to this, previous to this one, I didn't even fish. So um, things are changing every year, constantly, day to day, week to week, month by month, right? So I've got a lot to learn yet. Um, it's been fun. Um, wish I could have caught more fish, made more content for you guys, and, well, and for my and for myself. Um, now, as far as today goes, what a day! Um, I couldn't have asked for a better start. Um, I marked a lot of fish, caught the two you guys seen on, uh, or you're going to see on the video once I put it together here. Um, missed a couple other bites. Um, they just, they, they got real finicky. It was a real light bite. Um, but I watched an absolute highway of walleye go through this, um, area underneath me. Every time I marked one, I looked down the hole and you could see them. And there were some absolute monsters down there. Um, I tried everything, spoons, jigging wraps, colors, um, most of them I couldn't get to uh, even entertain the idea of uh, taking a bite. So um, I'm going to wrap things up here, um, get things packed up. I do have quite a bit of daylight left, but as I said earlier in the video, there are shacks spread out all over the place here. The fog is lifted now, but I can see sticks marking tip-ups from here all the way to shore. So I want to kind of get out in the light. Um, to make sure I don't run over anybody's gear and um, to be honest with you I've, I've been in this shack for 11 hours today, so I'm, I'm ready to be done So like I said barring anything cool happening while I, while I uh, pack stuff up um, This is gonna do it for this episode. Uh, hopefully it doesn't do it for this uh, ice season 
I still would like to do some inland lake uh, pan fishing and stuff, so hopefully we can bring something like that to you. But uh, until then, signing off. You're tuned in to Reel in the UP. I'm Steve Herkman, and say ya to the UP, eh?